This video is designed to show you how to convert metric units using decimals, and this is lesson 9-4. The goal for today is to be able to change among measurements and metric units of length. The key tip for the day is when there is not a decimal point, it is understood that it is to the right of the digit in the ones place. For example, 345, it is understood that the decimal is located to the right of the five. Now there's a phrase that we use as far as um, something that's going to help you understand the metric units of measurement and the order and that is Ken has driven monkeys down country meadows and each letter that begins each word represents a different metric unit of measurement and it's all in order starting with the K representing kilometers all the way down to the M and meadows representing millimeters. Okay, so the conversion chart we can see that one kilometer equals a thousand meters, a hectometer equals a hundred meters, decameter equals ten meters, a meter is just a meter, ten decimeters equals one meter, and then a hundred centimeters equals one meter and then 1,000 millimeters equals one meter. So a way that we remember or how we figure out to convert metric units of measurement we use a step just like we have right in front of us you can see the K Ken has driven monkeys down country meadows you can see the letter of each word represents different metric units of measurement. Now the way we do this is we're, con we're going to convert 52 and 700 centimeters equals how many millimeters. So what we do first of all is we start on the centimeters step and since we're just going down to the millimeters we'll just go one step down and since we go one step down we're going to move our decimal one place to the right. So I have 52 and 700 centimeters equals 520 and seven tenths millimeters. So as you can see the number of steps we move down that's the number of places to the right we move our decimal the number of steps we move up for example one two three if I were to move three steps up that's how many places to the left we would move our decimal. We'll take a look at a few more here. So let's say we have five and eight tenths meters equals how many centimeters so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start at my meters, and I'm going to go down two steps to my centimeters, one step, two steps. So that means I take my five and eight tenths, and I move that decimal one place to the right, and then another place to the right. Whenever we don't have any numbers to go around, we add a zero. Okay, so I have 5.8 meters equals 580 centimeters. Now I'm looking at another one, 247 meters equals how many kilometers? What I do is I start at my meters and I go up three steps, one, two, three. So since I went up three steps, that means I'm going to take my decimal, which is right here, and I'm going to move that three places to the right, one, two, three. So I could see say that 247 meters equals 0.247 kilometers. Once again you can see as I move up my steps the decimal moves to the left. As I move down my steps the decimal will move to the right. Now we're going to take a look at another one. 6.1 decimeters equals how many millimeters? So I find my decimeters, my dm. I'm going to move one two places down on my steps. So since I moved two places down on my steps, I'm going to rewrite 6.1. I'm going to move two places to the right. One, two places to the right. So 6.1 decimeters equals 610 millimeters. Okay, we're just going to do a couple more here. What I have is 2.5 meters equals how many centimeters. So I find the meters on my steps here, I go down one, two places down. So since I went two places down, that means I'm going to move my decimal two places to the right. 
2.5. I'm going to move it two places to the right. One. And then since I've run out of numbers, I'm going to do another one here and just add my zero. And so 2.5 meters equals 250 centimeters. Okay, we're going to take a look at 138 millimeters equals how many decimeters. So what I do is I start at my millimeters and I go up one, two steps. So since I went up two steps, I have my 138. It's understood my decimal point is to the right. So I move two steps to the left, two, two places to the left, one, two places to the left. So I have one and 38 hundredths decimeters for my answer. So 138 millimeters equals 1.38 dm. So a key tip that will help you be successful within lesson 9-4 is it's important to remember the number of steps you move down is how many places to the right the decimal will move and also the number of steps you move up is the number of spaces to the left the decimal will move. And those are some of the key points and key tips within converting metric units of measurement.